Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY. Today we got a service call for a split system AC. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. We got the gauges on the system. As you can see, we're pretty much flat out of refrigerant. We have a little bit left. I'm gonna use that as a trace gas and fill up the rest with nitrogen. It's condensing unit. It's off the fire escape and eight floors up. I have no idea if this is legal, but let's see what we can do. So I got my nitro tank here. I'm gonna fill up the rest of the system with nitrogen. Let's bring the pressure up. Considering this thing is pretty much empty, might even be able to hear this thing. So let's get the pressure up. I do have my electronic leak detector here. And this is gonna be a key to finding a leak like this. Let's see what happens. All right, so we have 175 PSIG. Let's start with that, I don't have too much nitro. I got it on high sensitivity right now. So let's see what we could find. All right, so I took off the screws for this condenser fan. Unfortunately, it's not these. So I can actually pull it out. This thing is ringing off already. I see a little wet stain inside there. My meter's going off heavy. I could smell something too. Oil. Look at that. Steady, steady, steady. The leak is in this condenser. It's, I think it's bugging out. Let's get out of here. And let's come back again. I see a wet stain there. Heavy. Heavy, heavy, heavy. This coil's plugged too. All right, let's get out of the area. I'm gonna go to low sensitivity. This thing goes off. I mean, I already know this is it, but low sensitivity going off heavy. Leak is somewhere right here. I could see like a wet stain, so that's gonna be oil. I hope this is something maybe I can fix. I mean, this thing is so dangerous. I don't wanna work here or even to change this. I mean, how are you gonna do that? I'm lift, oh man, this is insane. It's a condensing unit up there, guys. How is that? That's not even serviceable. There's nothing underneath. <laughs> what are you gonna do over there? All right. So after electronic, I use this to pinpoint the exact leak. Oh, I can see it. See the bubbles? I hope you guys, yeah. It's forming right there at the edge. Yeah, you guys should be able to see that, yep. I would not want to work on this, but honestly, it's right here. Safe to stand here. Might be able to chop this up a little and patch it. All right, so I got to come back with a torch. See what I could do. So I can see this is a 3 8 liquid line. And you see that there's a, it says flow and there's two arrows. This is a bi bi flow filter dryer. These are used in heat pumps. There is no three-way valve here. And they have a furnace on the inside unit for heat. So this is wrong. And look, it's an oversized dryer. They just crimped it. This is wrong. That thing is rubbing against the unit. There's some shady work over here. 
So I'm gonna come back with a filter dryer, torch. But first we're gonna start with that uh, that leak. Hopefully we could do something about that. So this leak is right against the metal. So the metal rubbed out with the copper. So I'm gonna see if I can try to cut this out a little bit right here so it still has some support on this side. So I can get a clean, clean connection here. This is pretty tough. All right, so I put a piece of wire, just tied it up to that. So now we have access, because there's no way I'm climbing around to get those screws off. I'm gonna try to cut it out. I can't get a pipe cutter around it, so this little one should help. Try to cut it straight. I'm gonna blow it out with a little nitro, make sure nothing got inside the pipes. All right, so I just rebuilt this. This is the best shot you're gonna get. It's not exactly quarter inch. It's the pipe for the condenser is slightly smaller, but it's as close as you're gonna get. Let's braze this up and hope for the best. Had to crimp the edge a little bit on the pipes here but this is the only way to save this. Right, so that part is done this piping is horrendous i was here before i noticed this last time look at this kink my god what is going on here i'm gonna want to replace that as well put a little coupling here this is just a nightmare now that's kinked all right just rebuilt it let's braze that up Check for leaks and see what happens. All right, so before I even change that dryer, I want to make sure this thing is not leaking. So I'm going to bring the pressure up and check. It's looking good right now. I'm just honestly hoping this is the only leak. If not, this coil got to go. And this is in such bad shape. This whole condensing unit got to go. Man, this thing was ugly. Got the right filter dryer in there. Arrow going towards the evaporator. Let's go ahead and braze this and pull a vacuum and hope for the best.
We can release the nitro. Pull this thing in the vacuum and see if it holds. All right. Got the gauges open, pulling a vacuum. Hopefully it holds. And I got a micron gauge here. All right, so the microns are coming down and pretty fast. For the fact it's even getting a reading, that's a good sign. It's honestly coming down really quick. Wow. All right, we're under a thousand microns. We're at 872 right now. Honestly, when there's a big leak, you wouldn't even get a reading on this. It would never go down. Sometimes it won't go past 2,500. As far as this, I'm gonna put some like uh, insulation just to protect the rubber and kind of just close this up. That's a little bit of protection there. Now we can close this up. And uh, let's finish off with this vacuum. Looks to be good. All right, stop the vacuum. Seems to be okay. It's my last tank of the original 22. All right, open it, flip it for liquid, purge. Got the air out of the line. While it's off, charge through the high side. Let's see what happens. All right, it's a miracle this unit even started. So now, system's on, charging through the low side. Let's get that head pressure back up. All right, we got a 57 pound back with a 211 head, this is R22. Got 72 degrees on the suction line, it's not good. We just started. Let's give it some time to, to work. A lot of vibration. Hmm. All right, everything's looking good. 56 pound back, 205 head. Superheat is at about 16. It's looking good, just gotta watch over this for a little bit. Temperatures in the space already coming down and that's pretty much it. Any more issues with this unit? It's condensing and they gotta go, everything's rotting away. It's just in such a terrible location. You know, it, it is what it is, but fix the leak, got a new filter dryer, fix that kink. Pressures are holding, temperatures are good, and it is what it is. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you all next time.